Lock printing is a great way to create multiples of the same image, but gives you options of variation in color and in background. I'm going to show you the basics of linoleum block printing. I'm using a soft linoleum block that is easy to cut and doesn't crumble. You can always draw directly onto the block with a pen or a pencil, or transfer the image using transfer paper. Either way, it's a good idea to go over your design with a permanent marker so it stays put while you're working. Keep in mind that your image will print in reverse. This is especially important when making letters and numbers. Before cutting, determine which part of your image you want to ink and print. Any part of the block that you cut out will be a negative space and will not show on the paper. Prep your ink by rolling it out thoroughly on the inking plate. This will get it to the right consistency. And I'm looking for a th few things when I'm doing this. I want to make sure that the ink is spreading consistently and there aren't any darker or lighter areas in it. And I want it to make uh, a certain sound and you can see small peaks forming in it while I'm doing it. When it sounds like Velcro, you're ready to print. Then roll your ink onto the block in thin multiple layers, making sure it's evenly coated. And I go from side to side and then I'll cover the same space going in the other direction just to make sure that I've gotten all the areas and especially the edges and the corners. And periodically when I'm inking, I'm going to have to pull a little bit more down from that pile to replenish what I'm doing in the strip. All right. Always test print on a scrap paper first to make sure your block is complete. Once you've made any corrections, you're ready for a real print. Lay your paper on the block and burnish the back of the paper in all directions. And I always do this first just to make sure that the print is making contact with the paper so it doesn't slip. And then I'm going to roll in all directions, paying special attention again to the edges and any areas that are uh, large enough that might take more of the burnishing. Okay. Once you're done rolling, pull the short end of the print slowly and gently until the paper is released from the block. Once it's up, you can either hang it or lay it flat to dry. And it's important to clean the block and brayer once you've finished printing, or if you're going to change colors while using the same block. You can get more information about block printing materials on the Blick website.